Let's look how we can remove green screen inside of Photoshop and make even more useful. We'll create it as a reusable action. So in the future, when you need to remove green screen, you can just click one button and it will automatically remove it from yours, isolated your object from the green screen. So to do this, let's go first, enable our actions and I'm going to click on a button action. If you don't have it on your toolbar, you can activate it by going to Windows and click on the action or Alt F9. So you can see it's open for us. And in default actions, I want to click and create new. And we'll just call this green screen for now. And I also want to just select color green in case if I want to use it as a button. So now you notice a recording is enabled. Whatever I do at this point, the Photoshop will record for me. So I want to do take background and duplicate it. Get notice right here, it says duplicated current layer. So you don't need to do this if you don't want it, but we'll just create it for this point. Okay, and next I want to actually go ahead, image, mode, and I want to switch this to the lab color. Okay, no flatten. We go now inside the channel and right here you notice we have it channel the lab lightness a and b so all i'm interested in is a, a color which have it our separation on the green we'll take this and duplicate it so after this we can switch back to our normal mode so we go image mode and switch to the rgb again we don't want to flatten this one okay now i want to increase kind of contrast on this because it's a black to separate more between black and white so to do this we're going with edit fill and we're going to use it by white content mode overlay and 100 percent click ok so you can see how it will kind of start overlaying this so let's do a few more times so it's same with fill only this time we'll switch from white to the black click ok you can see fill so let's do one more time with the black again and you can see how the contrast right here you'll notice we start having those kind of semi transparency so let's remove them by fill one more time with the white okay and white little bit expand on edge we go to edit fill with the black and you can modify as many you want it times so now it feels a little bit better and you can see how mask already created for us so next what I want to do, it is go ahead and select mask. We can do this by press control and click on the mask. Now you can see selections happen. If you're using Windows, uh, Mac, you can press command and right click. Let's go select back our RGB layers. And when it's selected, we need to click and create a new mask. So at this point, you can see right here, we created our mask. So let's go ahead, press stop recording. Okay, our green screen recording. So in this case, if I'm going and let's disable this one, we can test, I created background copy and we'll just go and click play. Okay, and you can see we just created new copy. So of course we create second copy because right here we duplicated layers. If we need, we can disable some of those areas like right here. So we want duplicate it, if we duplicate it again, so we can modify some of those actions but overall it seems like our action work very well and if we create another image and same actions we can also extract so let's do this let's go ahead and import a different image with green screen okay so right here example different image and you can see we have it one and i don't want to disable uh, duplicate current layer because we'll just go select background and let's say play and right here you can see we already removed our from background and our image so in this case you can see our action it does work it's help us remove green screen and you can see how you can do this inside the photoshop prepare your action and create it better for your green screen